Welcome to Mikon's hardware. Probably many of you know that I didn't really like Machinist X99Z motherboard at the beginning, but after a while I have changed my mind and came to the conclusion that this is the best budget M80X X99 motherboard from China. Even though X99Z has two major flaws. First, you cannot overclock CPUs which have unlocked multiplier on this motherboard. This is maybe possible with the BIOS from BIOS iEngineer, I have not tested that yet because I didn't have the motherboard to test with the iEngineer BIOS. The original BIOS does not overclock CPUs with unlocked multipliers such as Xeon E5 1650v3 or 1660v3. The other major flaw of the motherboard is inability to clear a CMOS with a jumper on the motherboard. Yes, I know that there is a modified BIOS which claims to fix this issue on X99Z. I have tested version with a small heatsink and with a big heatsink. On some of the motherboards clear CMOS is working correctly, on the others it's not working with or without the modified BIOS. That's why I just know about this issue with X99Z motherboard and I'm just working it around. If I happen to apply a wrong BIOS settings and my motherboard breaks out, I just use my external USB flash programmer to restore the motherboard functionality. For the best budget builds, I would like to combine Machinist X99Z with Xeon E5 2678v3. Xeon E5 2678v3 is a rather unique CPU which can work with the DDR4 and DDR3 memory. Using 4 sticks 8GB each, DDR3 would be about the same price as 2 sticks from DDR4. That's why I thought that having E5 2678v3, 32GB DDR3 memory and something like Machinist X99Z with the DDR3 support would be the best budget option for a workstation or a gaming computer. On AliExpress you can find Quanon J X99 8MD3 motherboard which has two memory slots. It supports DDR3 but it's only dual channel. That's why I went a bit deeper and started to search for different alternatives and on Taobao I have found a motherboard which looks very similar to Machinist X99Z and it supports DDR3. On pictures it had four memory slots and according to the advertisement on the page it was four memory slots and you can read it the way you want it. It can be either quad channel or dual channel. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about the motherboard which I have got from Taobao. It's called Ant Country X99S and it came to me from Taobao in this little box. I have obviously already unboxed it and tested it but let's still open the box and take a look what's inside. So it comes like this with this bracket for clip-on coolers installed over here which is rather nice because sometimes packages from China which came to me with this bracket line on the motherboard it uh, flies around in the box and bends some pins which is annoying. But let's take this one off and take the motherboard out. Of course you're getting an IO shield which is obvious. The clip to protect the CPU socket and the motherboard itself. So this is how the motherboard looks like. It's extremely similar to Machinist X99Z. The only major difference that I could find here is these extra SATA ports. These are SATA 3 ports. I'm not sure who would need 10 SATA 3 ports on a budget motherboard, but if you need them, they are there. Here, four memory slots as advertised, and they are DDR3, and they work as DDR3. Sadly though, after doing some testing, I have figured out that this motherboard is yet another Chinese crap. Even though the motherboard has four memory slots, it has only two memory channels, means these two memory slots are dedicated to one memory channel, and these two are dedicated to another memory channel. This is not the only issue with the motherboard, you will find the whole bundle of uh, Chinese motherboard issues with this Uncountry X99S. Let's start with the fact that USB 3 ports do not work. Well, they kind of work, you can connect there some devices, for example a mouse or a keyboard, but if you try to connect something which actually utilizes USB 3.0 speed, for example Samsung T5 external SSD drive, then the speed is rather meh. And if you try to run Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark or for example like photos transfers or video transfer or even game files transfer from your external drive to your system drive or somewhere else, the system hands and misbehaves and it does all weird stuff. The other major problem is the bias. 
it doesn't have options to adjust memory timings and memory speed. Yes, this BIOS does not have an option to adjust memory speed, not just memory timings. So I had some uh, DDR3 uh, 32 gigs memory modules, which were rated at DDR3 1066. These are very old memory modules. On this motherboard, they worked as DDR3 600. Can you imagine that? And you don't have an option to change that. Like this is complete uh, yeah, the BIOS has configuration to change memory speed, but it's completely ignored. If I install the standard Samsung DDR3-1600, they work as 1600, but this old DDR3-32GB per memory module, DDR3-1066, work as DDR3-600. The other issue is that smartphone doesn't work. You cannot adjust the rotation speed of your fans, and it doesn't matter if you have 4-pin fan or 3-pin fan. Like, it just doesn't work. Sleep mode doesn't work, obviously. I'm saying obviously because this is a standard bundle issue for all the Chinese motherboards. After some uh, testing and digging, I have figured out that uh, this little beauty or a little ugly thingy works with the Huanan GX99 TF or F8 BIOS. And if you apply that BIOS, you can work around some issues. For example, using uh, the BIOS, you can change memory speed and my 32 gigs modules were able to start at DDR3-1866 and I could tighten the run timings. So it's not a complete disaster, but you still can't fix the USB 3.0 issues, you still cannot fix the sleep mode issues, and the fan speed is still not adjustable even if you use one on GBUS. The VRAM temperature sensors are also not functioning, and the VRAM itself is rather poor. Stress test with ADA64 and Turbo Boost unlocked the Xeon E5 2670AT V3 resulted in a dead crash. The motherboard did not die, but the VRAM overheated and the computer just went kaput, so it turned off itself. Which is good on one side, like the computer did not, or rather the motherboard didn't fry out, but it's also bad that the motherboard is not able to handle E5 2678v3, which is the most popular CPU on the X99 platform, which supports your 3 memory. All in all, I cannot recommend this motherboard, but if you happen to have it, then make sure to use Huanan GX99 TF BIOS. Meanwhile, I will keep searching for a good X99 motherboard from China or not from China with MATX format and DDR3 support. Huanan G has recently updated their X99-8M line with the X99-8MF and X99-8MT. These motherboards look exactly like the previous version of the R3 and the R4 version of X99-8M, but uh, the Chinese decided to use a desktop B85 or some other desktop cheap sets on these motherboards. That's why I'm not sure if these motherboards are of any good or bad. For myself, I have ordered Huanan GX99 8MF, this is DR4 version, I'm going to test this motherboard and report on my channel. As usual, I'm going to provide the link to Geekbench 5 result taken on Ant Counter X99S motherboard. I have also updated my Mi 899 application for those who want to use it to unlock Turbo Boost if you happen to have Ant Counter X99. All the rest technical details will be available in my PowerPoint slides, which you can see by the end of the video. For now though, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have enjoyed this little short video about Uncountry X99S motherboard, goodbye!